Hey YouTube, this is Seth McDonald. I am back with another talk video of today. Um, check out my doing the hook video. Check out that video. Um, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Um, basically what I want to talk about um, is, you know, resting. Um, re rest is important. When it comes to training, because you know, if you overtrain, some people say, Oh, there's no such thing as overtraining. <coughs> Excuse me, there is no such thing as overtraining. To me, to me, in my opinion, I injured myself from. Overtrain in the past, and to me, because you know, I was wanting to be somebody that I wasn't, and instead of doing it as my own way, as my own self, I learned to realize, you no, know, hey, I'm not that person, I'm not him, or I'm not that type of a fighter, you know. When it comes to doing something of a sport, you know, you got to train rigorously. You know, you got to train with heart. You got to train with heart, mind, and so and body, and spirit. Now, when you train, you know, you want to train with every part of your body, like Bruce Lee said. You know, Bruce Lee said it on some of his books on... Jeet Kune Do is that basically when you train in martial arts, you are training every part of your body when it comes to violence. Um, when somebody is attacking you, you are hitting them with every part of your body. Um, that's the whole thing about martial arts. You know, martial art is a contact sport. Is a violent sport. To me, when you do martial arts, you know, you're not just going, unless you do point sparring, then it's more of a tap. It's not at the person. I mean, going through the person. But, to me, that's not really fighting and, and, and light sparring. To me, that's just, you know, Saying, okay, well, there's a point. I scored. Okay, I get back in fighting stance, shoot another one, and whatever, you know. It, it, to me, that's not a fight. Now, if you go to full contact, um, let's say karate or taekwondo, for instance, when they wear the gear, and there's a pop, 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 pop with full hard hits. Now, that's full contact. Even even with the pads itself on the person, they are still going at a full contact, knocking the hell out of each other. Because I know from experience, because I've used to train and went to tournaments as myself and as a martial artist, I have no proof on some of the tournaments but you can go probably on the internet and find some of my restorations that I have competed in under. But the thing of it is, when you're, you know, doing martial arts itself, most people will say, oh, it's about speed. Well, you're wrong. It, uh, martial art is not about speed. It's, it's about... Learning how to use your mind and body, power, and speed, all in one. It's about learning how to use your body. Um, that was another topic that a friend of mine was saying. He said, well, it's all about speed. Well, no, it's not about speed. Speed is part of it, yes, don't get me wrong. Speed of what you're doing and what you want to do and get the job done. 
But when you do martial arts, it's about form. It's about skill. Um, doing the technique right. Um, but when it comes to a real fight, you know, if you're fighting for self-defense out on the street, there is no doing the technique right. There is no doing um, the technique with good form. So I don't care who you are. You know, if you see those videos online, you know, seeing somebody doing those flashy kicks, you know, like, like a spinning hook kick to some other guy that's picking a fight with them out on the street, and it lands. Well, that video has to be edited. And there is no way nobody can learn a perfect good hook kick on a street fight. Now, unless you're a professional fighter in your, yourself, you know, unless if you're like a UFC fighter or a professional kickboxer or a professional martial artist, then yeah, I can see those guys landing some of those kicks in the street fight. But when it comes to an average show like me and who's ever watching out there on YouTube, on my channel, a street fight, you know, anything can happen. You know, you got you know, you gotta be aware of your surroundings. You know, most people say run when you get in confrontation. No. You don't run. Because when you run, the only thing it does is make things worse. Trust me, I've tried that before and it don't work. I've tried running from my situation. It don't work. The person keeps falling you know, wherever you go. He still does harm to you wherever you go. So yeah, it it does not work until you have to stand and fight. So you have no way out. So you have no way out. So somebody pushed that last little edge and traps you in that corner. That's when you have every right to fight back with every part of your body. And even your mind. Because when you become a when you become a fighter, you're training your mind, you're training your body, you're training your eight limbs. And to me, you know, to me being a martial artist is about being humble. It's not going around and causing fights. It's to help protect others in need. Um, it's to help others to better themselves, it's to help other people. If you see somebody being helpless on the street, help them out. No matter what the cost is. Even if you don't know the person, help them out. Um, basically, I've been in too many fights myself in the past. I even helped. I stood up for a girl that I didn't really know all that well, but she went to school with me, and, and me, I didn't know her, I mean, I wasn't really close with her or anything, but I seen her a few times, she said hi to me, I said hi back, you know, we kind of talk when we meet, you know, just, you know, showing respect toward each other, but when I saw her and her man at a, uh, Convent, um, a basketball game. They was arguing, and instantly I saw that man raise up, smack the hell out of her, and I rushed up there. And I, I mean, before she can raise up and do the other hand again, I grabbed his hand and I flung his arm up against. To whatever it was behind them, and I said, "You, if you want this hand, I said, you better not do that again. And I said, that's the worst thing. If I, you know, it does not take a man to hit a woman. If you hit a woman, you're not a man. 
That's another thing. You know, if you hit a woman, you are not a man. And you have no right, no matter what the woman has done, just to lay your hands on that woman if you end up hitting, him, hitting her. No matter how bad you want to hit her, you just better just walk away from that. All I gotta say is, never hit your woman. Never hit. Never hit your woman. Never hit your child or anything. Never show abusive to anybody. And I don't. I don't care who it is or anything. Always try to talk your way out of the situation. You know, that's just the only advice that I can think of. You know, in a violent conflict. Or anything. Always try to talk her way out of. If you can't talk her way out of, and you know, if it's the very last minute, then you have every right to do so as to stand up for what is right. And that's all I gotta say. Um, Seth McDonald signing out. Please hit that like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, you know, and get all my notifications when you hit that bell. If you don't, then. You know, hey, you know, you won't get none of my videos that pop up. So just hit, remember to hit that bell, hit the like button, hit subscribe, tell all your friends. And if you're new to the channel, you know, I thank you for the support. I thank you once again, and I, you know, you're very humble and kind for showing another man love to this channel. And you know, my fans is what keeps me going. Um, Another thing is, I got me a new haircut, got a crew cut. I like crew cut. I like the military style haircut. Um, no, I'm not in the military, but, you know, everybody's always asking me when I do get them. Hey, are you in the military? I'm like, no. He says, why do you get crew cuts? I said, I just like their way of cut. You know, that's just my style. And because it suits me better. It makes me look more of an adult than an actual a young adult. That's all I gotta say for right now, and like I said, God bless, and, you know, stay safe out there. <clears throat> another thing is, you know, be humble, kind to one another, show respect to the other person. You know, get out there and train, train hard, train smart, but most of all, be yourself. Hit that subscribe button, Seth McDonald's signing out. Peace.